Good evening. I just jumped on here real quick to make a point. You all have to understand something, especially you all that's in ministry, claiming you all have been called and that you're answering the call. The church is divided, and I'm talking about the body, not just one of the buildings with somebody's name on it with some religion that somebody started you don't see luciferians say satanist atheist you don't see them fighting with each other but the body fights with each other and there's this preconceived notion that it's okay for the church to be dysfunctional or not perfect because we're not perfect people but there's a certain thing that's called order and we are all out of order and we are all because we're out of order it makes us out of alignment and it makes what we're trying to do in this realm less effective so I want to say this because I'm, I, you know, and I hope I hope it helps some people. And you all, please like, tag, share, send it to their inbox, um, send it to the DM, whatever. But if you know somebody who needs to hear this, send it to them. You cannot substitute your calling well let, let, me, let me rephrase that let me let me do it again. You cannot substitute healing with your calling just because you are called it does not mean that you're supposed to overlook your healing and just because you have gifts. It does not mean that you are not responsible for your faults because you have gifts. Some people have issues and they have a gift and they want their issues to be overlooked because they have a gift or gifts. That's not how this works. God gives his gifts without repentance. That means he's not going to take it from you. That means you can use your gift for Satan's kingdom if you wanted to. A lot of people do. So we have to stop overlooking uh, issues and, and, and certain spirits and certain manifestations just because the person has a gift. And we have to stop overlooking the fact that people need healing and they need deliverance and they need chastisement. We need to stop overlooking that just because they have a call on their life. We're out of balance. And it's too many times people are getting burned and running into some very wicked people. All because deliverance has not went forth. Or if, the, if somebody has tried to help the person or, or correct the person and they don't receive it, then they need to sit down somewhere. They, they, need, they need to sit down. And this is not about who's without sin and everybody's sin. This is not what we're talking about. We're talking about if you go to uh, the, the, the hamburger, the hamburger hut, and you have somebody who's supposed to be uh, in charge, a system manager, a manager, crew leader, and they're not doing their job effectively, or they're mishandling 
customers on their mishandling employees that's under them and trying to move up you move them out of that position because they're hurting the company but you can get in church and the greeter could have an attitude people in the church could just be nasty toward people and it's, well, you know, that's how sister so-and-so is. Well, you know, child brother so-and-so, you know. No. No. Set them down. Until they get it together. You know, I'm not talking about falling short. I'm not talking about mistakes. I'm not talking about, you know, you're learning and growing and finding yourself in situations. I'm talking about these folks that are just really not trying to do better and have adopted uh, character flaws and, and, and made it their lifestyle, made it a part of their personality, and they want to be excused because they're gifted or because they have a title. And they're hurting people. And they're running people off. It's just like this video I seen where this man was um, laying hands on people. And he tried to lay his hands on this young lady. And her, I guess he felt her knees buckle. And oh, he went into a rant. Well, if your knees buckle, if you, you know, what you buckle your knees for, if you, what you come up here for. If It was your job to hear from God and minister to that young lady. But you got in your feelings and got offended because her knees buckled. So that tells me you were in your flesh and you probably didn't need to lay hands on nobody that was up there. Because why are you taking it personal that her knees buckle? It's God working through any of us. It's not us. It's God working through us. So the fact that <coughs> the fact that you got an attitude you you were in your you were already in your flesh you were trying to put on a show and see how many people you can get to, to, to fall out for show to stroke your own ego and when her knees buckle and she didn't go down the way you felt she was supposed to go down like she had to go down anyway you know you you went into this rant walked off humiliated her walked off how is that drawing her to christ how is she gonna feel confident coming back to the altar again She's definitely not going to come back up there if you're up there. You've lost your witness to, witness to her. And there's no telling how many others and everybody who's seen that video. So what her knees buckle? But that's what I'm talking about. People are going unchecked. And I'm sure he has had attitudes before. I'm sure somebody has picked, seen that nice, nasty attitude before. And they continue to let him do what they he do. And, and look what he did. And it ended up going viral. Character flaws. No, none of us are perfect. But there's order. You don't have to be perfect to do your job and do it right. And everybody gets a pass at the church. Well, Jesus died for everybody. There is order. God has a protocol. He says obedience is better than sacrifice. If you truly got a heart for God, you should have compassion for God's people. There's a way to correct people in love. It is. I'm done dealing with folks that has the issues. Either I either I cut you off or I walk or I walk you through the deliverance as the Holy Ghost gives me the authority and the unction. And if not, just cut you off. But we gotta stop letting people do this in the church. We got to stop uh, standing by watching people hurt people and disrespect people in church. Especially if they call themselves one of God's. All right. Little late night rant over. Be blessed.